Hi everyone, the Lord Wolf here and welcome to an EVE Online commentary video. In today's video I want to tell you guys a bit of a story. So if you want more uh, of an action-packed uh, background visual uh, video, then uh, this one is probably not going to be for you. So you've been warned, it's going to be me talking a lot. But if you want to hear uh, the story about my first Hulk, then uh, sit back, relax, enjoy the drones mining in the background. And let me tell you about my first Hulk. Uh, so when I first started playing EVE Online, I started with my brother. Both of us wanted to reach that goal of owning our own boss in the game, our own little place. And we both had very different playstyles to get to that point. What we needed was a decent amount of capital. And for me, it was mining. I do enjoy mining in EVE Online. I did so back then. I basically enjoy the fact that it's not all too hectic. This is something that you can do in a very very relaxed way and back in those days the very best mining ship even for a solo player was the Hulk and uh, so that was my very first goal that was actually to skill up and earn enough money uh, to buy that first Hulk so that I could mine as efficiently as was basically possible in Heisek at the time on your own and then start working on our capital for bigger and better things. And uh, after, well, I think it was a few months at least of playing and skilling um, and, and doing a lot of mining, uh, at first selling that ore directly to the market, then finding out about reprocessing mineral prices, trade hubs and things like that. I finally earned uh, like around 200 million ISK I got the skills for these first strip miners, were only strip miners one at a time. I uh, got a couple of drones in there and I got my first Hulk. And I think on it was either the first or the second day of taking that one out for some mining. I got can flipped, so this strange little frigate was uh, roaming around, warping in and out a couple of times, it was really weird. And uh, after coming back, I had destroyed a couple of rats and he went straight for those wrecks, grabbed the loot and he went red. And this is where I made a big mistake at the time. I didn't really know the power balance of EVE or anything like that. And I thought, you know what? I just got this massive tech to a ship. It's bound to have good resistances. I can, uh, I, I have five small drones against this one little frigate. I can chase this guy away. I, I'm going to engage him. And I put my five small drones on that frigate. I think it was something like an Ishker uh, or, or something like that. And uh, well, the second after that, I'm scrammed, I'm wept, I'm, I'm everything. I can't touch that guy, he's too fast. He's starting to chew through my shields and um, I realized, yeah, I've made a very big mistake because at the time I couldn't even afford to replace that ship. And so a little bit of panicked back and forth with my brother. What hell am I gonna do? Can you come and help? Nope, he was too far away, too far away running his missions. And uh, then I was convoed by the uh, can flipper at the time. And um, he basically wanted like 100 million or 150 million isk or something like that, a reasonable price uh, to allow my Hulk to live. And I said, sorry, bro, I don't have the money. And he blew me up. Uh, after that, of course, you know, we were scrambling a little bit, but my brother, uh, gave me all his ISK. I also took all the ISK from the Corp wallet. I managed to buy a second Hulk and uh, keep keep playing like that. Keep, uh, you know, trying to mine uh, more efficiently. But of course, I was in debt both to the corporation and to my brother. Uh, but uh, it, it was a very costly mistake. But at the same time, uh, it was a serious hook for me in the game. Because from that point on, uh, I mined like every single spare minute that I had because I wanted to pay my brother back as soon as I could um, and uh, I realized whoa stuff like this can happen as well it got me hooked into EVE Online an actual loss uh, an actual consequence of making a mistake probably one of the first times that that something like that uh, happened to me in a game and it's actually looking back at it a pretty incredible experience that probably is a big part of why I'm still playing EVE Online uh, to this day. So that was that was actually a pretty cool story for me. It's one of those things that I'll never forget. Uh, it's one of the of my my uh, my main stories basically about uh, getting into EVE Online and that is really today's topic that I want to cover with this uh, quick story. 
is that in EVE Online, you have to dare to make mistakes. You don't have to always look for that safety, always look for the most efficient way and things like that. It's actually in the mistakes that we learn the most valuable lessons, that we learn the value of our ships, of our time spent in the game. It helps us hook in the game. Uh, and of course, it creates those cool stories, those incredible moments. Uh, I remember another one. This, this happened to my brother and I was too far away. He was actually doing missions in a Myrmidon and he was comforted by someone to, to help him out because he was uh, stuck either on a mission or in a site or something like that. He didn't look at the destination. It was actually a trap in Losek. So he got through the gate and was immediately attacked by a couple of pirates. Now I think my brother stayed a bit cooler than I did and uh, slow boated back to the gate. So he managed to save that Myrmidon. But that's another one of those quick stories that, that I do still remember of, of mistakes that we made and lessons that we learned in EVE Online uh, because of the sandbox and the harshness of the sandbox. And uh, it's not only personal anecdotes, uh, the great battle of BR5 of course uh, was also uh, started by a mistake, you know, probably. Uh, I think it's never really been confirmed, but I think the story is that someone forgot to uh, fill up a wallet enough for uh, for the rent and as a result sovereignty was dropped it's either that or a bug but it's it's also a mistake it's not exactly something that's completely planned it's an unscripted mistake that created the largest battle ever in eve online and some of the absolute coolest stories um that I love to hear about, that I love to read about, uh, or of course the new players that discover a wormhole, jump through that and of course make all the mistakes imaginable uh, that you can make in wormholes, uh, like uh, go in without probes, uh, forget to bookmark uh, the, the exit, things like that leads to so many cool and interesting outcomes that you can never expect. Sometimes they get blown up, sometimes they're completely stuck in there for days, they have to uh, um, destroy themselves and, and, and put themselves back into station. Sometimes they're found out by some nice players and escorted back into high sick. Sometimes they drop on battles. Uh, you know, it's, it's really, that's a, a big part of EVE Online, especially I would say for newer players, right, at this point. Um, I've learned a lot of these lessons, I have assets, I have, I have safety nets and all of that good thing, uh, all of those things, but making mistakes, especially early on, are, are really things that you should not be afraid of. Uh, that's why this is such a cool game, that's where you learn great lessons and where you really uh, make the, the coolest stories. And eventually you will uh, find that you can also be on the other side of this because uh, another one of the cool stories is of course my fight against the wingspan delivery service uh, where I have a bit more experience. I'm in a C1 wormhole with, with a battleship. They drop on me with the stealth bomber and two stradioses and the stealth bomber makes the mistake of overheating his launchers, giving me eventually that victory against the wingspan delivery. Another one of those cool stories and what's really the threat behind this, it's mistakes that make them interesting, unpredictable and very cool in EVE Online. So uh, that's my quick story for today, guys. I hope that you enjoy a video like this as well. And if you want to try EVE Online or if you're newer to EVE Online or you're playing EVE Online, remember, don't be afraid to make some mistakes in this game. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time.